Hi there, it's Chris Hamilton here with salestipaday.com and this is a presentation that I did with Contactually, which is a CRM system, and it's about using Contactually to nurture your LinkedIn connections. So what I'm going to do is this video, it's going to show you how to use Contactually to get your LinkedIn connections um, out of LinkedIn, put it into a system where you can build a follow-up. Now, by the way, what you're about to learn has helped me. It has driven millions of dollars of sales for me. And it will help you save a significant amount of time uh, when it comes to nurturing some of the best contacts that you have, which would be um, your uh, LinkedIn connections. So here's the problem. Uh, LinkedIn does a horrific job of... Uh, trying to allow you to follow up with your contacts. Um, it's pretty static and uh, it doesn't work very well. Let's just put it that way. So there's got to be a better way. And you know what? The other thing too is take your communications off LinkedIn if you can. Uh, reason being is that LinkedIn owns a platform and you don't control it. So they can change things at any time. So they make it hard for you to be able to follow up with people and nurture your connections. It also is, um, it's not your platform. So LinkedIn could change things at any time and stop allowing you to message. You get your, get your account deleted, whatever it is. So you want to be able to take your connections off LinkedIn. I'll show you how to do that. Put them into Contactually and uh, make this work for you as well. So there's several steps in this. The first thing you need to do is get your contacts from LinkedIn. So how do you do this? You go into my network, hit connections. Then what happens is a slide like, or a screen like this pops up. Over on the right hand side, there's a little gear wheel. Click on that. When you click on that, there's gonna be a thing that brings up a page like this that says export your LinkedIn connections. So what you wanna do is click on that. Now when you click on that, what you're going to do is it's going to you're going to be allowed to export to different file formats and there's five choices you can get pick microsoft outlook and then the brackets.csv file and then hit export um, when you do that you're also going to be taken through a security verification that you have to actually do um, so you just uh, you basically click on that so what this does is it allows you to download all your connections out of linkedin and what it does is it allows you to download its first name, last name, email address, current work title, and current employer, I believe, is uh, what shows up in this uh, Excel or CSV file that you can use. So that's the first step. Second step, get the Contactually import spreadsheet. So you're going to have to sign up for Contactually. So I've got a link here that you can use to sign up for a 15-day trial of Contactually to see how uh, awesome it is and how it works. Once you're signed into the system, you get the Contactually import sheet. How do you do that? You go into the contact section, click import. Then what happens is a pop-up box falls, it goes up, uh, comes up like this. Now, there is a link that you can click on that's gonna show you how to import your contacts. I'm not gonna get into great detail on uh, what the uh, what the import functionality is but I will show you a little bit about that but what you need to do is you need to download there's a template that's specific for contactually so then what happens is you click on that it allows you to download that template now what you need to do in step three is you take your LinkedIn contacts and you have to migrate them over to the contactually template and the reason being is because some of the columns and stuff don't fit up and only you know, the, the link to, or the Contactually spreadsheet is what you have to import into Contactually. So there's a bit of a step here, but well worth the uh, well worth the effort. So as I said, you just can't import your contacts into Contactually. You have to uh, manipulate the header t uh, tabs as well. So when you download the Contactually import or um, uh, in, uh, contact import sheet, you need to delete rows two and three because it's just got dummy data in there. And then what happens is you're going to have that header row just to where you see up here where it says first name, last name, email, one, two, three, four. That's the header row. So keep it open like that. Now, Contactually works on things called buckets. And buckets are just things that you want to put your prospects in. Prospects can be in a prospect bucket, a client bucket, a uh, a potential client bucket, a you know, a friend bucket, an acquaintance bucket. Any you can make your own buckets up. But in this case, 
you know, what you need to do is you need to create one that's specific for your LinkedIn contacts. So what I've done is down in the bot or how you add a contact or a bucket is you go into the buckets tab and click add a bucket. And then what you do is um, create a bucket. And in this case, I made one called LinkedIn connections. And then there is a spot on your contactually spreadsheet that will allow you to add the name of the bucket. So what you do is you take that name of the bucket that you put in there and then in column J in the contextually import file, you make that a LinkedIn, uh, you, you put your bucket name in there, which in this case, I've made it LinkedIn connection. You can do whatever you want. You can call it whatever, but LinkedIn connection is easy to do. Now, step number five format the contactually spreadsheet. So the reason why I say you want to format this and import the data, here's why, is that on LinkedIn, you have a first name, last name, email, company, and job title. They map out almost the same. So in contactually, it's first name goes to first name, last name to last name, email address goes to email one, company goes to company, and job title goes to job in contactually. So there's only two differences here, email address and email one and job title and job. Now, and then what you want to do is add your bucket name in the bucket column, which was column J. So we've got all this in this file format here to be imported into contactually. So you can see the different things that I've done. So what you do is you take your LinkedIn file that you downloaded with all the contact information, copy that information, paste it into the appropriate column on the link or in the contactually import form. Then what you do is you import the spreadsheet and you map the columns. So what you do is hit contacts, hit import. Then what you do is you're going to choose the file in this pop-up box that you've created for importing into um, contactually. And then what happens is you're going to get a page like this that says confirm column mappings. You just make sure that everything maps to whatever column it is. And then you hit finish import. It's gonna take a few minutes for it to go through and get imported into contactually. But once you do that, then it's gonna tell you that your uh, files have been imported into contactually. So <coughs> when you go to your bucket, what you're gonna see is you're gonna have your LinkedIn connections sitting in your LinkedIn connections bucket, if that's what you named it on your spreadsheet. Now, one of the other things you need to do is you need to merge contacts. So one of the problems that happens is you may already have data sitting in contactually um, and you've imported new data. So what contactually does, it looks for multiple things like name, company, uh, certain things, and it looks for any duplicates. So what happens is on your main dashboard page, you may see merge contacts if there are some duplicate contacts or what they think is duplicate contacts. And then what you got to do is you just have to go through and select, uh, does this contact connect with this contact that we already have existing in here? Yes, no. And then you just confirm it. Now, here's where the meat, uh, the rubber hits the road. So let's just recap really quickly. So what happens is you set up contactually. You go and get a 15-day trial. You download your connections out of LinkedIn. You go get the contactually um, import file. You take the information out of your LinkedIn contacts Excel spreadsheet or CSV file, put them into the contactually import file, map them in, make sure it gets in, and go through and clean up the merge stuff. Sounds like a lot of work, but it really doesn't take very long. It actually takes you all of about 10 minutes to do that at the most. Um, then what you do is let's build a let's build a process out. So what I do is I go through my LinkedIn connections. And when I'm going through saying, you know, can I follow up with these people? What should I do? I'll click on their profile in LinkedIn and see when was the last time I connected with this person? When was the last time I talked to this person? Uh, what can I do to, uh, to, to reach out to them as well? And the one thing that's wonderful about Contactually is it allows you to create email templates that you can send out to people to um, follow up with them. I'll get to that in a couple of seconds here. So with Vidang, uh, I connected with this guy, let's say four months prior, uh, had not... Um, uh, hadn't done anything or sent him any other information. So in this case, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send him a message through contactually. So one of the other things too, when you're sitting on LinkedIn 
if you pull it up and someone's got their uh, expertise, hit endorsement, endorse, because sometimes they'll get notification that says, hey, Chris Hamilton endorsed you, Vidang. And Vidang's going to be like, who's Chris Hamilton? I haven't talked to him ever. And then all of a sudden, oh, I see who he is. Yes, da, da, da. In this case, I used to work with this guy. Anyways, now what you can do is you can create your own email that you want to send out to them so you can follow up with them. Or what you can do is use an email template. So link or uh, Kit actually has some templates that you can use. You can create your own templates. And then what you do is when you're following up with these people, just use that email template and get it in the door. Now, that's the start of a follow-up process. Now, what you need to do though, is you also need to create a recurring follow-up process with these people. So you need to think about a system, a follow-up system. So what I've done, I usually what I've done, I've got kind of three buckets. I use A bucket, B bucket, C dot bucket. I use a D bucket as well. Um, a buckets usually, they're, they're people that I want to follow up with every 30 days, keep in front of, keep in contact with. B buckets are people that, you know, every 60 days I'll be reaching out to them. And C buckets are people that are every 90 days that I want to be reaching out to them. This is just the system I use. Doesn't mean you have to follow this system or anything like that. Um, my D bucket is one that I put people on that I go back to every once in a while and say, okay, do I need to move them to a C bucket? Your whole goal here is to take C's and move them to B's, B's and move them to A's. And your A bucket, you want to be strengthening those relationships with those people on a consistent basis. And one of the reasons being is that stronger relationships will also help you get referrals uh, into other people. And if you want to find out about that stuff, you can connect with me, chris at salestipaday.com. And I'll... Uh, um, send you information on how to leverage referrals through LinkedIn as well, or send you information on a webinar that I do on that on a consistent basis. So now, as I went through, we said, here, here's how you can bucket a contact, right? So one of the ways that you can bucket contacts is if you click on someone's profile um, under the bucket section, you can uh, create different buckets and put people's names into them. Uh, another way to do it is if you actually go into somebody's profile, you can, um, on the right hand side here, you see buckets, you can click edit buckets and that will uh, allow you to add buckets, take buckets off, so on and so forth. Um, one of the things that I use, I've got a great little plugin for Gmail that Contactually's created um, that allows me to uh, add people right in Gmail if I'm sending them something new. Um, or sending them a new email for the first time and that allow me to bucket them as well. One of the other things too is that when you actually are working on um, the uh, working in uh, sending emails, contactually as long as your email account is connected in, which it always is, uh, will bring people's names in as well so you can bucket it that way. There's multiple ways to bucket your contacts in there. So now here's where the rubber hits the road, creating a follow-up program. So there's a couple of ways that you can create a program. And so in um, Contactually, along the top, you hit program. There's create program, and there's also you can have a templated program. When you create a program, um, what you do is you click the create program. Then what it does, it says you name your program. So the first thing you need to do is name it. Second thing is, you know, potentially you add someone to a bucket um, when, um, when they're going into this. Third thing you do is you say, you know, how many days do I want to delay? Be zero, could be 100 if you want, before I do something. Then you have to create an action. There's a bunch of different actions. You can remind for a follow-up, send a message. There's tasks. You can add to a bucket. You can sync to other things. There's a whole bunch of different things that you can do here. Um, you can also set an option of delaying, um, resetting a delay if you interact with someone. And then what happens is once you've created one step, then you add a next step. And if you don't like it, you can delete it or you can move it up and down. So in this case, for example, let's see if I've got one in my next slide. Yeah, I do. Um, this program is uh, one where I've added, uh, when I add someone to a program, I have zero days until, this, until I send a message. Then what I do is I use a, um, uh, an email that I've created, existing contact program for a first email. And then I get to pick what account I'm sending it from if I want. If I want, I can track if these people open it or if they click on any links. The last thing is a reply. I could put it in there, a reply that, you know, if someone doesn't open this message within set period of time, let's say a week, then um, I can, um, 
you know, get reminded that they didn't open that and I can uh, go back and, and uh, reconnect with them. And then last but not least is you can either require approval before executing this and uh, reset the delay if you interact with people. So let me give you an understanding. That's an awful lot of information to take in. One of the things that's really cool about Catastrophe is that when you sign up, they have people that will walk you through the process of getting the system going and getting it done. I'll tell you why Contactually is phenomenal. It's roughly, I spend $39 a month, it's US, to get Contactually, but it also saves me roughly 160 plus hours a month in productivity uh, that I would otherwise have to spend sending emails out and everything. So how's that? It's a combination of using programs and also reminding myself to follow up with specific people and build relationships. Um, so that's the first one. The first one is creating your own program. The other thing too is that Contactually has their own programs. <clears throat> when you go into a uh, program, when you click on this button, add from library, what you get is you get something where it shows you diff different things. Down the left-hand side here, first thing you do is you can pick whatever market you're in. Then what happens is they have specific templates and then out the right-hand side on number three here, it shows you what are the steps in that um, in that process. So they've done this right down for you. You can edit this too. When you select a program, you can actually edit this um, so that um, it works for you as well. So <clears throat> showed you how to add someone to a uh, contactually to a program. So what happens is you've created these programs. You want to add people to a program. Easiest way to do it is you look up a person's name and in this case, I got my buddy Roger Billings. If I want to add him to a program, when I look on his profile down the right-hand side, there's something that says programs. You click on add to program, and there's all the options that I have down here of different programs that I've built out that I can add him to, to keep in contact with him. And then once you put him into a program, if you set it up properly, um, that program will run for the steps that you set up. So for example, my um, uh, personal new contact follow-up uh, email, goes for roughly 12 months. My personal existing contact, same thing, goes for 12 months. My congratulation on a new job goes for about three months. Uh, let me help you out is something that I put people into that I may not uh, connect with on a regular basis that sends an email out quarterly asking them if they need help on anything. And that's, uh, that's basically how that works. So I'm gonna show you three great examples of follow-ups using Contactually. First one is, can, how can I help you? This email, like I say, is it's a template that I've created as part of my uh, how can I help you uh, program that I have. But this one works great. If there's people that I haven't connected with in a while, I usually throw out this email to them to see how I might be able to help them out. Everyone likes getting help and it doesn't look like you're self-serving in this case on that one. So this is one way. Another one, <coughs> this is a real estate company in Calgary that has a supplier deal. So they've got a bunch of suppliers. It's a Best My Nest program. And let's say you're a realtor. And what happens is these suppliers put up new deals on a monthly basis. You can use Contactually to send out a new email to your contacts on a monthly basis saying, hey, new programs are out at Best My Nest. Why don't you come check this out? Better yet, you can go find deals through people that you do business with, create your own little email and send it out to these people as well. Another one that I think is phenomenal is Contactually has all these email templates. What you do is if you go in the upper right-hand corner, click on your profile, then what you do is you go to the left-hand side, click email templates. This is where you can create a template or add from a library. In this case, we're gonna go add from library. It's very similar to setting up a program. First thing you do is you figure out what industry you're in. Then in the middle part, what happens is you've got the titles of the different emails that you can use as templates and then what do they look like on the right hand side so i just want you to understand there's a lot of information to take in here <clears throat> this is it, it may seem like it's going to take a bunch of time to get it set, set up it really doesn't to tell you the truth from the time you download your linkedin file to um, the time you get it imported into Contactually, it'll take you about 10 minutes, and then you start working on that follow-up process. And put, put aside like 10 minutes, 15 minutes every day, and this thing will just automatically just get built out and stuff like that. But I'll tell you what, there's a bit of time initially, obviously, to do all this stuff, but once you do it, it's just a maintenance process after the fact, and it nurtures your relationships with people. So one last tip I wanna give you here is, 
uh, add your LinkedIn connections on a monthly basis. Uh, make sure you download your LinkedIn connections. Why? Because LinkedIn could pull that functionality any uh, at any time. Think about Facebook, for example. People put their email addresses into Facebook. Facebook has moved towards a messaging service, so you cannot get emails out of Facebook. I have a feeling LinkedIn will eventually go that way as well. The other thing happens is that people's emails, their contact email information changes on a consistent basis as well. So you just got to make sure that you're staying on top of that sort of stuff. Tell you what, you have any questions on this, by all means, you know, feel free to reach out to me, chris at salestipaday.com. Or if you're in North America, give me a shout, 403-630-1243. More than happy to help you out with this or talk about this or walk you through this process. And uh, we'll go from there. So you know what? It's a new year. Start out good. Start working this, work your LinkedIn connections. They're a gold mine in there. I know it because I do it on a consistent basis and Contaxi will help you nurture those leads.